Welcome to another episode of Ozfish. Dave here, let's get some. Up for a uh, beach fishing session this afternoon and um, mate, I just threw uh, the first rod out. Didn't even get a chance to uh, rig up my second rod and uh, yeah, like beautiful little brim. Like uh, on some worms that I uh, caught the other day. So uh, hopefully it'll be a good session with some, uh, some brim and some whiting and uh, hopefully a few dew. So we'll see what happens. I'll get this little fella back. Cracked him on a tiny little circle hook that I've been using for the whiting late, lately. Yeah, it works unreal. So yeah, I'm expecting the fishing to be uh, a little bit quiet early because we're on a full moon and I'm right at the bottom of the tide. And it's probably a pretty big out. So I'm fishing a really, really narrow gutter. Uh, deep water to the left, deep water to the right, but a very narrow gutter, shallow gutter. And I'm just allowing for um, yeah, that tide to rise um, till after dark and it should fill up. Uh, it might fill up a little bit too much as it gets towards um, a couple of hours before the uh, top of the tide, but um, I'm hoping that uh, in an hour or two it'll, um, it'll fill up really nice and the fish will come on uh, just before dark. But she's in a really narrow, shallow gutter. So over the last month, um, I've taught myself how to catch uh, beach worms, which is an awesome thing to do uh, if you're going to be a beach fisherman. Uh, it's been something that I've wanted to do for a long time. So over the last four weeks, I've um, watched a lot of YouTube videos and um, tried different techniques in relation to teaching myself how to catch beach worms. And um, yeah, I've tried with my fingers and didn't have much success, but um, I've worked out how to catch the, uh, the beach worms uh, using uh, pliers and um, now I can go out and um, build really as many worms as I want um, to, uh, to go out and to, to go beach fishing, which is an absolutely awesome thing to do because um, yeah, there's no doubt that beach worms are an awesome bait on the, uh, on the beach for, for dewfish, uh, for whiting, uh, for brim, uh, you know, like uh, salmon all through the winter just absolutely annihilate your dart, you'll catch flathead on them. Um, over the last week I've caught three snapper on them, so they're an awesome bait. So, yeah, what I do is uh, when I um, I have a, um, a beach fishing mentor, a 70 year old Yugoslav bloke, uh, Dana, who's an absolutely awesome beach fisherman and wormer. So uh, I preserve the worms how he preserves them. So what I do is I bring the worms home and um, I bring some salt water home from the beach and um, yeah, I place some salt water into a tub put some more salt in them, cooking salt into them, get the concentration up really high, back the worms in, uh, small ones for half an hour, larger ones for an hour, and um, coat them with a little bit of sand to get the slime off them after I take them out. And um, really they come out, um, these ones have come out of the freezer I'm using today, like uh, they really do uh, come out awesome. Like when they're brined, um, it firms them just a little bit, but mate, they're really fresh. Looks like, almost like, you're like you've caught the worms. And uh, yeah, the fish love them. So I'll do a video on that, on how I preserve the beach worms and how I actually catch them. But yeah, they come out awesome. Great bait, beach worm. <laughs> Great fun. Nice little whiting. Circle hooks are awesome for whiting, they just um, hook themselves. Yeah, this little fella, like he'd be legal, but uh, too small for me, like, um, so, um, yeah, it's only really early, dead low tide. Throw him back, eh? Even though this whiting's small, it's probably a female and rode up full of eggs, so, yeah. I'm just gonna let this uh, whiting go, you know, like, I think I'm gonna take a few, I'm gonna take, um, four fish just under 40 if I can like uh, what you got to remember is like when you're whiting fishing this time of the year is 
like we're fishing aggregations of spawning fish. So you kill on spawn and fish. And if you keep eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 whiting, nearly every one of them you clean will be full of rows. So uh, it's kind of cool to catch them, but um, kind of a tragedy in a way as well. You're killing them breeding fish, but um, anyway. Another little brim. In a circle look. Come on mate, I want to get a big whiting. Beautiful colours on him, bud. Really blended into the uh, yeah, really blended into the surf. Yeah, they're amazing. Silver and they get that sort of colour almost like the sand. Perfectly camouflaged. Little hunters on the beach. Mr. Stingray. Getting a bit of everything. Double look up. Toady on the top. Whiting on the bottom. Ho ho! Sometimes on the beach too, yeah, you'll get a lot of uh, like little toads and that. Particularly when it's a little bit calmer today. And uh, they'll come in on the beach and yeah, they'll, uh, they'll knock your baits off pretty quick, the old toad. Yeah, you wonder why you're going through all your baits and uh, <laughs> it's little toads getting you. Damn you. Should I put you back? Should I put you back, mate? Yeah, all right. Morning just on dark. I'm hoping to get a few fish just after dark, like the gutter's starting to fill up. Yeah, two whiting and two cars, so uh, not too bad. A few fish starting to show up now that it's got dark. Small brim, you know, like that's the third one for today, but um, yeah, they love them worms. First dew for the night. Just a little fella, but slammed me hard in the rod holder. A few fish have come on now that's a bit more water in this real shallow gutter, so um, yeah, I'll um, let him go, you know, like um, awesome. Love catching dew on the beach. Even little fellas. Not too bad a brim, best one for the night. That's the fourth one I've caught this session, so uh, yeah, the fish have definitely come on a bit after dark, so uh, oh yeah, let's get another one. Yeah, catching uh, catching whiting on both rods now, you know, like that's a size one, you know, like um, stainless long shank, but uh, yeah, belts them too, you know, like the old whiting man, they're an extremely powerful fish, you know, but um, they're an awesome fish on the beach because you can catch them before daylight early in the morning, you can catch them. <clears throat> mate, right in the middle of the day, you know, with the sun high, you can catch them after dark, so yeah, yeah, just just an epic fish, you know, to catch this time of the year, so uh, <clears throat> catch them on the little tiny circle, look, so let's keep going. A late season salmon, like in really warm water, pinned him right on that little tiny circle, look. Thought he was a Jew, a little Jew. Anyway, plenty of fish around tonight. Another cracking nighttime whiting. Good fish in the dark. Little circle hook pinned right in the corner of his mouth. Yeah. Yeah, they work awesome. So, yeah. Beautiful fish. All right, so, um, yeah. I'm going to stop uh, filming, like, um, moment you know like really how many fish do you want to see in the dark really whiting brim whatever but uh, I'll give a uh, tally at the end of the night and see how I go I'm just going to concentrate on my rods um, in the dark I've got no lights on my rods and um, <coughs> yeah there's very little light so I need to concentrate on them but um, yeah it's um, it's been a really good session like um, after dark you know plenty of whiting there and um, you know some nice brim so uh, anyway I'll see how I go get back yeah. <coughs> All right, well, that's a uh, wrap for me. It's been a really, really fun session. So I've caught about a dozen whiting and um, caught a couple of brim, got a small dew, even got a late season salmon. Must have been lost in that warm water. But um, 
yeah, the uh, little tiny circle hooks on the Paternoster rig worked awesome tonight. Caught all the fish on beach worms um, that I caught uh, last week, which is uh, always awesome. So, yeah, if you like what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell. Share my channel with your friends. All right. All right. Always remember, let's get some.